What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, hanging out with me here at the Auto Shop Life. So today, got a pretty special treat for you guys. A new tool that we just picked up here at the Auto Shop Life. Um, one I've actually been waiting on. Great tools, you guys know, you know, I stress in these videos that all-in-one tool or that multi-purpose tool, you know, to do more than one job is better than buying a whole bunch of different tools. And today, I got one just like that. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so getting to it. You guys, uh, you guys out there that's been following the channel for a while or been subbed to the channel, watch the videos, you guys know I'm a big Power Pro abuser. Um, you know, the, over, the, over the years of being a mechanic through my career, I you know, can't even count the number of times that you know, the Power Pro 2, 3, 4, the hook has helped me out in diagnosing these cars, you know, whether it's electrical testing or using the tool you know, diagnosing a way through a job along with maybe other tools or just a tool in general by itself. But as said in the beginning, you guys know that all in one tool is kind of what I'm all about. You know, upgrading tools to the newest, greatest, you know, is all fine and dandy, but having a company to back you and try to teach you how to use those tools and those features is even better. So the new one from Power Pro, the Maestro, picked it up through Power Pro, got it here in the shop. I'm going to dive down and show you guys what this thing's all about, kind of talk about the features. You know, it's still new to me. I had, you know, a couple times, got it a couple days ago, used it a couple times. I got to use it twice today, just kind of messing around with some of the features, but I had to get a video out there for you guys. Share my thoughts as far as, you know, Power Probe Tech as a company in general, and then my first impression on the new Maestro, you know, pretty much all in one, your test light, multimeter, Power Probe, you know, ohm checker, pretty much all those tools in one and you know that's great in itself but what's even great about it is you know the company as a whole between their customer support their their tech support you know showing showing us how to use the tool you know because a lot of times you know guys out there using those power pro threes and the power pro fours you know they're not really using those tools at its full potential you know there's a lot more that these tools can do for us you know in diagnosing a car than what we you know what we use them for or what they're intended for and you know sometimes they're being misused you know like obviously using a power pro 3 as a multimeter you know is not really accurate you're not you know I, i've seen techs do that i've seen try techs try to use a power pro 3 as a multimeter you know and it's not really for that now you get into a power probe 4 the hook and now the maestro yes that's more you know it's multimeter you know a dvom kind of built in you got your test light built in it does, you know, load testing, all that good stuff, injector testing. This thing has component testing, step-by-step uh, -step guide to guide you through troubleshooting on some issue, you know, electrical issues and all that stuff. Some great features on this thing. So pretty much here's the unit itself. Now, definitely like the design of it. I definitely like some of the curves. And, you know, when you have this thing in the hand, how the screen, you know, pretty much faces towards you. I definitely like the sleekness, the ruggedness of it. I mean, having this in the hand, you can tell it's quality built. I do like the uh, the bigger screen, so you can see it's an LCD screen. Comes with a four four inch probe tip, I believe. And what I like about it is, although the wire isn't removable and changeable, everything else pretty much is. You know, your rocker switch can be replaceable. The fuse in the back can be replaceable. They they give you a little door so you can replace it, nice and easy. All that stuff. Um, Definitely got the bright headlights in the front like you expect to see on Pro Pro products. These things are bright too. Got the dual headlights on there. You got the negative and positive lights up top, little LED lights up top, and then all the navigational buttons, They, you know, so you don't have to hit one button like a lot of them are to navigate through the menus. They got, everything's got their own separate button. What makes this tool great out of the last great Power Pro tech that came out is this one actually has an app. It is Bluetooth capable. You can link this to an app. It does do trace. They call it trace, but it does do grafting. You can't save data, um, and and that's a you know that's another world in itself. Obviously, that's going to grow as the tool grows, as the company grows, as this side of it, you know, the wireless side of it grows. But the app in itself is a great app. You guys can download it on iCloud or Android, you know, Google Play. But uh, you know, definitely a great tool. Got a nice loud speaker on it. Like I said, guys, quality built stuff comes with a. 23 foot cable nice and thick cable and then you got your uh, plug 
separately, so you can replace this. The end is replaceable. The alligator clips are replaceable. Decent size alligator clips. The hook has bigger ones. And then you have on the ground side your little clip. They do have the banana jack, so you could put your probe in there, however you want to do it, if you got the kit for it. And a replaceable 20 amp fuse on the back with a little compartment on there. So definitely a cool power probe. Definitely seems nice. We talked about some of its physical capabilities and what it looks like. This thing is waterproof, dustproof, all that good stuff. But let's just get this thing powered up, show you guys some of its features. All right, guys, you get this thing powered up. Go straight to your uh, volts DC. You got your min max. This is default mode on here. Obviously, this will be so you know you touch the tip. You could give a component ground. You could give it power. You know, basically testing motors, things like that. It does show the voltage on the screen that's reading off the tip. So it'll be able to tell if it's you know power or ground. Um, you, you have a uh, trace button you could hit up. That's how you get in the grafting. Not only graphs on the app. It, it, it'll save the data on the app, but it'll also graft on the screen. I don't know if you guys are picking that up. So obviously if I hit the rocker up, you'll be able to see it graft there. And then down, you see 12 volts, and it goes down to zero. So that's pretty cool to where, you know, you not only get the audio beep, you know, the high tone for power, positive, the lower tone for negative, but you could actually visually see the graphs on it too. So that's nice for... You know, like maybe alternator ripple, or if you have a glitch in it, you got the tip on it, you're kind of diagnosing, testing it with, you know, in volts DC, you could kind of see if it's a glitchy, you know, intermittent problem, you do a wiggle test or anything like that, you could kind of catch it on here. But what's great is when you're using it, pairing it with the app, you could record it. So if you don't pick it up, say you got this thing laying by, you know, and you're recording while you're doing a wiggle test, and you don't necessarily see, hear the beep or see it, you could always go back as you're recording, go back through the data and see where the problem exists. Nice navigation menu, you pretty much drop down at the bottom, you go over to the left, um, and this is what I mean about the company trying to teach you, us how to use these tools, um, you know, putting the information out there for us so we could use these tools at its full potential. But basically you got your four modes here, you got injector mode just like the Power Probe 4, you got your multimeter which will bring you into the main menu we just saw, easy learning and guide, guided diagnostics I actually want to go to first, and what's nice about this is it actually guides you through you know, your, your pretty much preliminary checks for battery, checking battery and alternator ripple. You got your fuse, fuses, and you can actually test them while it's on this screen. You know, you obviously put it on a fuse and it's open, it'll say open. If it's a, a power, it'll say power. If it's grounded, it'll say ground. Uh, your component testing gives you a breakdown of actually how to, how to use the tool, what to do, what to test for. And then your, obviously your wire test is the last one here. Test each wire for a path back to battery circuit is open. So obviously in this, in this screen it says, you know, it's an open circuit, but obviously if you were testing the wires, you know, you, you touched the wire and it was shorted to ground or whatever it is, obviously it would show that it's reading continuity or show that it's ground. And then obviously if you were testing a wire and it was shorted to power or whatever, or shorted to battery, it would tell you battery. But obviously being an open circuit, nothing being on the tips, and then also what's nice about it is the safety features in it. Obviously being in something like this mode, it does not let you give power to the tip or ground to the tip at all. So you ain't got to worry about, you know, frying PCMs or accidentally bumping the button or hitting the button thinking you're in another mode when you're not. So I think that's pretty cool. Obviously all on the screen showing us how to use these tools, you know, because sometimes, sometimes I forget. And it's not like I forget how to test the component I'm testing, but I'll forget how to get to it within the tool, you know, or, you know, it'll be too hard. So I'll break out another tool to check ohms. Then I break out another tool to check voltage and things like that. So it's nice to have it all in one. You know, if you forget how to do it, you could always reference back. You don't have to, you know, read the manual again or go on your phone or Google it to learn how to use the tool to learn how to fix the car, if you guys know what I'm saying. But definitely some great features in itself. But going back, to home menu here. I hope you guys are catching this on the screen without a glare. Here, actually I'll pull this off. I saved that. It's satisfying. See if you guys can see it better without the protective screen on there. I don't know why I keep those on there. Probably keep the dust out of it and all that stuff. So we'll go back home here. Go to multimeter. It does have your injector mode. And then going back to voltage DC, if you want to navigate and check your ohms, you just hit right. You go straight into ohms, it tells you your min, max, and all that stuff. So, you know, testing components, testing circuits, or, you know, testing continuity, you'll see it right there on the screen. Whatever the tip, you guys got to think. You guys got this 
always hook to battery ground and always hook to battery positive. So, you know, you could test with just the tip most of the time. So obviously, if you're testing a component by itself when it's unplugged, you could use this ground and test like that, but ground is always going back to car. So if you're testing continuity, making sure, you know, whether it's a circuit that has continuity or, you know, a relay or, or a component or a motor or anything like that, you know, you're checking resistance of it, ground's always hooked up. So you could pretty much test it with one lead, not like a multimeter where you gotta put both leads on it if you got one of your hands full. Definitely a great feature in itself. Uh, I could definitely find many uses to use that for. Not, not only testing in on vehicles, but doing bench test on components also in motors and things like that. Switching over to voltage alternating current. Now this is a great one for obviously testing those crank sensors, testing those ABS sensors, anything Hall effect related, you know, things like that. Um, definitely great features, you know. So, and what's cool about it is this one does have the trace mode. So instead of just reading your min max, you hit up and it'll give you it in graft. And like I said, this will show up better, even better on the app. We'll, we'll dive down, I'll, I'll power up the phone, show you guys kind of what the app base looks like, but it's pretty responsive. I was messing around with it earlier today. And then scrolling through, you got your peak to peak, high and low. This thing does t test hertz and frequency, so obviously you could check your duty cycle, purge valve, things like that. Um, you know, lots of, lots of components. Uh, obviously, off the top of my head, I'm thinking purge valves, duty cycle, and things like that. EGR, your duty cycle on EGRs and stuff like that. Definitely a pretty neat one. Obviously, you could test your speakers and all that, the Hertz on speakers. Um, and what I also like about it is obviously flipping through, everything's pretty much color coded. So obviously, when you're at voltage, you got a blue screen, you switch over to ohms, it turns into a white screen. So you'll always know the menu, you know, you add a glass, you could tell you know, muscle memory will take over. You'll know what mode you're in right away by looking at the screen, you know, because obviously this screen, say in mid-max, kind of looks just like this screen here, say in mid-max, but you'll know by the color, you know, this is a lighter color, this is your continuity function, and then this is your peak-to-peak -peak function. This thing obviously has the speaker button that you can turn off. It has a clear, so you get your min-max. Um, say you didn't see a problem with it, so you want to retest, you could go ahead and clear. Test again, it's pretty nice. You don't have to disconnect the tool or flip out of the menu and flip back in. Um, also, the same, same with your hertz and frequency. When you're testing it, you can test your duty cycle, um, your pulse width in millisecond, uh, power and negative along with your hertz, and then you could also clear it, obviously. So if you retest, you could go and clear. You don't have to back out and go back in. So I thought that was a pretty nice feature. So definitely some pretty cool features on this one. I could think, like I said, guys, still a new tool to me. Um, you know, using these tools the way they're intended and being able to use them at their full potentials. As I learn, I notice I diagnose these cars a little bit faster, you know, because you not only, what I like about the app and being able to kind of show a visual graft of things is you not only always have to pull out your lab scope and pull out your laptop and hook up your leads and all that stuff, you know, one tool does it all, quick reference jobs, everybody diagnoses differently, you know, and, and like I said, I've been using PowerPro products for over a decade, pretty much, I could fairly say. You know, I, I've owned the Power Pros for a long, long time. Um, it, it, it's accustomed to me. You know, I, I like I like seeing their new tech come out. I like seeing them grow as a company, and you know, not only not only growing to help us diagnose these you know newer cars coming out, these more you know these more computer controlled cars, you know, in every little circuit and everything like that, and. You know, going back to going back to Hertz and things like that. Your duty cycle, obviously checking CAN bus networks and things like that. You know, it makes it that much easier to you know get a quick diagnose, get it right the first time. Um, you know, be confident on a, on a diagnose, knowing that you know this tool not only says it on the screen, and you could see a fault on the screen. You could save the data, you could show it to the customer, you could save it to your records and all that stuff, so you could reference it back maybe when the next one comes in. So all in all, you could definitely see this tool's got some pretty cool features. You know, I could think off the top of my head, you know, over the years and months and weeks that I use this tool and be able to break this thing out on certain cases and certain jobs and certain diagnostics on these cars, you know, it's definitely going to be a time saver. I could definitely see it, you know, compare this to the Power Probe 4, you know, the three that I use for certain job, every tool has its place. You know, and, and obviously if I can make this tool my go-to tool, it's one last thing I gotta worry about. It's one last thing I gotta, I gotta worry about, you know, warranting if it breaks or replacing if I need it and things like that. One tool that does it all, not only that, but the support that be, that's behind it, have everything built in one. So if you're uncertain how to get to a menu or uncertain how to do a component testing on a certain, 
you know, vehicle or a certain, you know, where to hook up or how to use the tool properly, it has it all built in there. You know, your guided component test, your easy learning on it, you know, run through those options a few times. You know, get to know the tool first, obviously holding it in your hand, getting to know the, the physical buttons and things like that, that's pretty easy. But then knowing, you know, where to stick this probe, when to stick it in, to get the right information you need to test these components, you know, it's pretty much all the same. If you guys are using DVOMs and you guys are using lab scopes and all that stuff, this tool, you know, although I can't say it'll do it as detailed as some of those other ones, but it'll definitely get you the information that you need to diagnose that car a little bit quicker, you know, a little bit faster, a little bit more efficient and things like that. But let's get this app fired up, show you guys the response time on this app. All right, guys. So if you're looking for this app, type in Power Probe Tech. It's going to be the top one here. And this is for Android. But here's the app here that you'll want to download. Not too much on it because, like I said, this is new technology. You know, it'd be able to see this app grow with the information that it tells you on there. There is PDF files on here that you could download to also show you how to use the tools and how to test batteries and alternator ripple and, you know, all that stuff. You know, I have yet, I have yet to read everything on the app. It's definitely already to start off. There's a lot of information on it. But getting into pairing, so what you'll want to do, as you guys can see on here, this thing has a pairing button. You'll want to make sure you got Bluetooth on. All right, so you'll fire off the app like this. I usually like to hit the pairing button, choose a device to connect. You'll hit at the bottom here. It'll come up to Maestro, shoot you over to this one. So it says disconnect tool. So obviously the tool's connected now. You go to tool data, hit in the multimeter, and then you can see right away how responsive it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the rocker up. It'll show you that on the screen, give you the beep. I'm gonna go ahead and mute this. So you guys wearing headphones don't get, uh, your eardrums blown away but pretty darn responsive definitely like it I was using the app earlier for some continuity testing on a uh, Honda and uh, you know it's definitely right on point to be able to look over at a bigger screen as I'm holding it down into a wire you know because although I like the angle of the screen I do like the fact that you could flip the screen when you're upside down or standing on the other side of the unit it does have its own separate button for that you know, but sometimes when this is kind of down in between a radiator and a piece of exhaust and things like that, trying to get onto a wiring harness, you not only can get a good clear view of it, so having your phone or tablet sitting on top of the engine bay or right in front of your face, being able to see your readings right away is pretty cool. That's definitely a nice feature. Flip it over to your resistance, shoots off right away. Obviously, we're not checking resistance on anything, so nothing's going to be reading on there. But if we were, you would see it on here and on the unit itself. Switching over to Volch's alternating current mode. This one does have the trace mode, so if you hit up, you'll see your grafting. This is where you can record and log everything, also take pictures and capture any uh, intermittent problems or a problem that you have. If you could get it to do it, you could take a picture of it. Uh, also save, I think it's up to a whole gigabyte of uh, data as you're recording, and then you could save it to your, you know, your cloud, or I'm not sure exactly where it saves to, but you could also email it to yourself or a customer or anything like that. Cool feature for sure. Uh, and then going through the rest of them, you got your peak to peak. This one does not have trace. And then your Hertz duty cycle, all that stuff hit up. Got the, you know, no data chart available, but if there was, you would obviously see it on there. Another cool one about it is your voltage DC does have trace. So you'll be able to save data on that and all that stuff. So that one I will be able to hit. You could see obviously touching it to battery here positive you see the grafting on it hope you I'm catching that on the screen can't really see what you guys are seeing but pretty cool stuff awesome features love the app so back to the main menu you can see some of the options here you got your tool data which is the one we we're just in you got your data file option pro utilities you know what's new pretty much with power probe tech your knowledge base and then you know direct contact to tech support and things like that but jumping in the pro utilities Parasitic draw calculator, thought that was pretty cool. Pretty much put in the millivolts. You got your uh, knowledge base. This is what I mean by, you know, you know, Power Probe Tech as a company showing us as mechanics how to use their tools. You know, because, you know, 
sometimes it's hard enough to figure out these cars, you know, to try to figure out the tool, to figure out the cars, you know, adds even more stress to us as technicians and all that stuff. But being able to quickly be able to reference, you know, how, how to test it, to save a file. This is the PDF files that I was telling you guys about in the beginning, you know, all laid out in plain English, you know, kind of scroll through and all that stuff, show you exactly what to do with the tool, what to expect, some of the ranges and things like that. Obviously a battery being pretty basic, but getting into charging, your sensors, your electrical, you, you know, sensors for a TPMS, your mass airflow sensor, your map sensor, giving you all the information right off the app, right here in front of you. You know, I, I, I find that bar none, you know, some of the best information, you know, not having to search around for, you know, how to use something or what to do and all that stuff. The information being right here in front of you, you know, in reading through some of this stuff is sometimes a crash course and a fresh up for me. You know, some of this stuff, obviously, this, the basics of it is you forget sometimes. You forget how a component may work or how to test a component correctly. Obviously, here's a picture of the Power Probe 4. Shows you right here exactly what to do. Connect your Power Probe battery clips to a vehicle's battery. Select normal DC mode for Power Probe 3 series, 3S, you know, all the Power Probe 4 and the Maestro. Start the vehicle, let it run. Back probe the max overflow sensor connection to a, obtain readings. You know, having it right here at your fingertips, showing you how to use the tool, you know, so you're not second guessing yourself or thinking you're misdiagnosing or think you're not using the tool correctly or at its full potential. What I'm stressing here, guys, you know, is great stuff, great information. You know, bar none, there's no other company that give you the information out there like this with the new technology that comes out, you know, pretty much just throw things your way and say, hey, kind of figure it out. And, you know, I'm kind of referencing multi-probe. You know, it, I'm still learning that tool. I'm still learning how to navigate through that tool. Yes, it's a great strong tool by itself, but, you know, sometimes trying to figure out those menus and, and going back and forth and making sure I'm on the right one and testing at the right place, you know, that's one thing. But having all the information right here in front of you, you know, on an app, you could put right off your phone all the information for what they have. And like I said, I'm sure this knowledge base will grow you know, as time goes on and, you know, more of these go out there and more testing, more data's out there, case studies and things like that for it, you know, I'm sure it'll grow right along with the app. But going, shooting back home, that was the knowledge base, obviously the contact, Pro Utilities showed you how to test the parasitic drain on the fuses. What's new? Probably shoot you over to the website, show you kind of what's what's hot and popping as far as Power Probe Tech goes. Obviously, you know, the 3EZ here, you got uh, the new probe, basically test light in itself. The mini probes, which are a great tool, definitely have those. But having it all, all in one here, you know, guys, it's, it's definitely cool. Hey guys, so I could ramble on all night talking about some of the cool stuff that I see on this tool. A home run from Power Probe Tech. I gotta say, I'm glad I got this in my hand finally. I will definitely be running through some of the paces on this one, checking it on some of these diags get a couple case studies or where this tool shines, I'll be sure to get a video out there for you guys. If I didn't say, I'll say it now, the box it came in, here's the part number for it. What do we got? PPTM01AS. It did not come with a case. Pretty much what you see is what it came with. The unit itself, the 23 foot cable, the alligator clip ends, and the little ground banana clip with a fuse installed, pre-installed. Of course, you get your Proud Pro sticker and your little pamphlet guide and all that cool stuff. I can't wait to get this one out there, guys. You guys looking to get, you know, new tool for the arsenal or upgrade that Power Probe 2 or 3 you may be still using? This one's another animal. You know, Power Probe 3 will always have its place. Power Probe 4 right now is not still my favorite, obviously, but getting this one out there, seeing some of the features, being able to reference back some of that information that... Power Probe shows you how to use their tool so you can use their tool at its full potential to help us diagnose these cars. It's a home run to me. It's a home run in my book, guys. So as always, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.